All right, God bless you. I'm going to do this video real quick. Um, I'm currently going through some things right now. And um, I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. I know you can't hardly see me, but hopefully you can just hear me. A few days ago, there was a little video that I was trying to do. And it's called, and what it's called, why does good, why does bad things happen to good people? For that reason, I still don't know. I know that a lot of us have to go through trials and tribulations for the namesake of God. And going through that determines where our faith is and who we are in God. And it, it'll show us just us. It'll show us how strong we are and it'll show us how weak we are. I'm not sure why so many bad things has happened to me, but it's a part of God's plan. I'm not sure why my parents had To be parents who did drugs, but also was once a part of the Christian faith. Both of my parents had a wonderful and a beautiful testimony. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And it seemed like I have been a sinner as well myself. It seems like I have failed God several times and many times. And I'm saying that from a standpoint of being called of God and even just without the calling. All of us have. But why does bad things happen to good people? I've given my life, <clears throat> so to speak, my love life to young women who I've became infatuated with and in love. And before you know it, they have trampled over my heart like a rose on the ground. I lost my mom at 17. I lost my dad at 21. lost my grandma at 32. My mother's parents, Robert and Juanita Robertson, never met them. My grandpa, Curtis D. Crump, I never met him. Um, <clears throat> his father... And his family I've never met, and they're in Houston, Texas. My oldest sister, born in 1972, my mama's first child, my oldest sister, Talisha Lavelle James Robertson. I don't know where she at, where she is here in the United States. One of my aunts, or two, both two aunts, had given up my mother's child without my mother's consent. And one of my aunts, don't even want to talk about it today. Doesn't have anything to do with family and doesn't have any interest in being a part of family. Yet alone doesn't even really care about having a family reunion. I have an uncle named, uh, what's his name? Rod Rodney in California. Love him. Does him and his wife, does he and his wife call me <clears throat> to check on me? No, they don't. Um, oh, and my uncle that lived in Indiana, Indiana, now in Oklahoma. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. Like I said, I haven't always been right or have, I'm not perfect. And um, I must say, between California and Arizona, 
I was licensed and ordained as an evangelist. And recently I did a spiritual test through this great woman of God. I, I don't know if I should say her name or not. She's a powerful woman of the Lord. And over here so y'all can at least see me a little bit. Lord, I need some more. That's in my tank pretty soon. Between California and Arizona, I have certain people that call me evangelist and I'm not really caught up on titles, but I just do believe that when you operate in a specific calling and office, that that's what you should be respected as. And um, some people don't respect me as an evangelist. And although I am an evangelist, a young evangelist of 20 years, I have made mistakes and sometimes I make mistakes now. It's not always deliberately or all the time, if you will. Why does bad things happen to good people? I think, let me see. I think like I was almost close to getting married to young ladies um, at least three times. But it's sad when you have a good heart such as myself and you get overlooked because you don't have a whole lot of finance. And yeah, I know that as a man, it, it, you know, you have to take care of your wife, you have to take care of your family. But I believe that a man and woman should come together and it just work like that. You know, sometimes you start off from nothing. Ah, my God. And you believe God and let God do the rest with the two coming together. And yeah, we know sometimes things happen for a reason and sometimes things doesn't happen for a particular reason. Only God knows. God knows the, the, the good, the bad, the ugly the whys and why nots, the hows, the how comes, the yeses and the noes. He knows everything, but I don't know. I just don't understand why a lot of this, these things has happened to me. Um, I know the Bible says in our sins, Christ died for us. Uh, we have a greater hope and a hope of glory I know the Bible discusses that talks about that and I'm just being a human I'm just being a hundred percent man just as this new documentary that Kirk Franklin has on YouTube which I need to check out so I don't know all the things that Kirk has been through but you know I've been through some things myself and I'm yet going through things myself. My family is a nice sized family, but my grandmother, the matriarch of the family split up. Um, well, the, the, the family has split up since like May 29, 2023. This year, when my grandmother passed, you know, people fighting over 
the estate and money, which I'm probably getting a little too personal, but I'm not trying to make my family look bad because I love them. But I just don't understand, you know, you go to work sometimes, you try to do good, and you try to do good in church and people are so high-minded and you know, people I know in California are high-minded with positions and they got money and greed and they don't reach out and they, they don't remember you. They act like they don't know you, you know, and um, here in Arizona, Arizona um, has been pretty good, you know, pretty nice, but the people are just different, you know, not as sociable and friendly and caring like California. And then in California, yeah, some people... Some Negroes back there has changed. So why does bad things happen to good people? Hmm. Something to really think about. Only God knows. That's my answer, y'all. That's what I can really say. So I just need you all to keep me in your prayers. My name is Michael A.C. Johnson Jr. I need your prayers. You can contact me via YouTube. You can contact me via uh, Facebook. Michael A as an Apple Crump. C-R-U-M as in Mississippi. P as in Paul. Hyphen. J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Michael A. Crump Johnson. Or you can add me on my other page. Or just, you know, send me a message on the Michael A. C. Johnson Jr page as well as Instagram Michael AC Johnson Jr. underscore page underscore one or two I can't remember but I know um, one of my other Instagrams had got hacked that's another thing why does bad things happen to good people on Facebook I had another account um, one of my other Michael A.C. Johnson Jr. pages, and that had got hacked. So it's like little stuff, you know, little things. I know the Bible says, for the sufferings of this present world is not compared to the future glory that lies ahead, but my God, it's like sometime, Lord, can I have a big, beautiful break? Can I be trial-free and stress-free, tribulation-free, you know? Can I be problem free? Can it be a Kuna Matata experience? Can you work a miracle with my family? Can we have restoration in the family? Can we have love in the family? Can I have the desire of my heart? Could that one particular young lady that I truly love with all my heart couldn't we just come together and get married and have a great life and a great experience? Can this young lady be applicable and an asset to me in my life? And we both have a ministry to operate together in love and in peace and in harmony Can we create a family, develop a family? Can we be strong together? Can we be solid together through thick and thin? Can we be so strong that if people talk about us, it don't matter, it don't phase us, that we still you know, choose to be together? I pray for my siblings, I pray for their children, my nieces and nephews, and I pray for their, um, the ones that have children, I pray for their children, my great nieces and nephews, which I'm blessed to have. I'm trying to log off because I've been talking a good little while, it's 14 minutes, but I'm just thinking, sitting here thinking while going through this experience that I'm going through. I've worked hard in my life. 
And yeah, I'm praying that I work harder so I can get to my goals. I'm of a, I'm a man of a certain age. I need my own spot so I can have a place where I can lay my head and enjoy peace and freedom and God in my home. I need a place where I can just live. I need a place where if I'm courting slash dating that I could be able to invite that beautiful young lady friend over to my home and she feel like, wow, okay, yeah, you know, he's a responsible man. He got his own. I need help, y'all. I need prayer. <clears throat> this young man who has poured his heart, given his heart, so to speak, to people. <clears throat> <clears throat> this young man who has been overlooked. Light on, cheated, buke, scorn. All that, like Vicky Winans has sing about since she recorded that song, since she made that song. I pray for my siblings, Daniel and Michelle and Alicia. Pray for Angel and Joseph. I pray for Linus. And the rest of the family. So as I record this video, I need help, y'all, and I need prayer. When I say I need help, I ain't talking about no crazy help. I'm not saying I'm crazy mentally, but I get drained myself. As you all know that I minister and I share great knowledgeable information and facts and scriptures and encouragement and then people like myself who out who give out who pour out we get hit hard with trials and tribulations i need a big financial breakthrough so i could take my car and put some advances on it would love to get a beautiful spot of my own so I can at least say it's my own and be able to be a good steward of my money and also have my own place so I could be able to say I have my own had a family home in one of the most beautiful cities in the East Valley of Arizona. But our family no longer own the home unless a miracle comes through from God. Ha, huh. and God says, you all are allowed and permitted to stay. Besides that, it's too bad that this other particular house can't just go to me and I could be the, the owner of this house and take care to the best of my ability and not only take care to the best of my ability I would have this house for a home Number one, for God, myself. Number two, if I had a wife, a beautiful young wife. And then number three or four, whichever order I'm discussing this in. Uh, it would be a blessing to have it for family as well. I would want to have a house where a family could come and stay and visit for a little while. And they, you know, as they, they journey on, you know, or if I have to have a few family members or one or two or whatever, you know, to come and stay with us for a little while, I want to be able to be compassionate and have my doors open. I want to have a family home. 
and I would love to find a beautiful, attractive wife whom I can have children with. And if I can't find a beautiful, attractive wife, you know, like my age, then give me, God, this is my prayer, give me a beautiful, attractive woman whom I can just love, be in love with, and have her as my own. I need my own wife. I need a beautiful woman. Someone that, that I love. Someone and someone that loves me. That's what I want. That's what I desire. Wants, needs, and desires is very important. And I know that God can, can bless and, and give and, and he can do all that. I believe in him. I know what the Lord can do. But sometimes, yes, it seems impossible. It gets difficult. Life's journey gets difficult. Sometimes our faith wavers. And it's not because we want it to waver intentionally or on purpose. Hmm. Certain positions I've applied for. For work and jobs I didn't get. I'm not saying saying these things to discourage anyone, but I'm talking again from a young man's perspective of one who has served God for many years, one who hasn't been perfect, one who was born in sin. And that's another thing I said to myself and I asked God, not even to myself, but I asked God, God, why did I have to be born in sin and shaped into iniquity and then be conceived through my parents, through my mother. Y'all don't hear me. Come down here into this world and realize that sin is not what God wants of us. Sin is not what God he likes. That's not what he requires and that that's not good. And then we all can't sin but we all have been born in sin. It's like, it doesn't make sense. I don't understand it. I know Jesus Christ is the way to salvation. He's the truth and the life. And like my late grandmother, Mother Nadine Johnson used to say, Jesus Christ is the cross. But I don't understand why, if God is in control of human beings, the earth, and this is not to question my faith because I don't ever want to turn my back on Christ. But I just don't, I don't even understand everything as well as an evangelist and as a young man of God. And I yet love God with a passion and purpose. And I pray that this video would be posted on YouTube or whatever component of social media so that somebody could understand where I'm coming from and identify with what I'm saying. But not only that, someone or, or those of you who could pray for me because of my heart at this time being saddened, being damaged and hurt. And yes, like uh, a, a, a colleague in ministry, we was talking about being disappointed being let down and then at times feeling like I'm a failure and I have failed people or God especially so that's my number why do we have to suffer because of Adam and Eve because of their disobedience why do we have to live in this world and suffer so hard we have to go to work and make all ends meet these days you got to have two and three jobs to survive between california and arizona and i guess they like they say new york and i can't i don't know any other states any other states that's expensive but it's like then you're not able to go to church as much unless you do have a nice decent legit job which i would which i want to have which i'm kind of looking for because that's what I need as a man and as a young man right now and, you know, for my age. 
I've got a, you know, nice little job at TJ Maxx, you know. Um, but it's okay, it's an okay job for now. I also worked at FedEx not long ago, and I had some other jobs. That's a whole nother story. I've been working since I was 15 years old. And I've always been mature for my age because I've had wisdom and I've been through so many things in life as a youngster in the past. So I just need all of you to pray for me and to continue to pray for me. I need help with God. I need his strength and peace. I need a financial blessing so that I can at least be a millionaire so I can help myself. Number one, let me back up. Be a blessing to God and his kingdom. Help myself and have a family and help my family and then help others. That's my vision. That's my mission. That's my destiny and aim. Especially before I vacate this world. I don't plan to be on this, uh, this life and in this world forever. Because of the trials and tribulations and problems that we all have to face. I don't want to have to suffer in this world. I, I know if we suffer, yes, we will have eternal gain with God. Praise the Lord for that. But anyway, I'm going to get off this video. Why does bad things happen to good people? Hmm. <clears throat> being put in a situation where I have two aunts that have attorneys and I have to be in the middle about which document to sign and I'm afraid if I sign one the other will be upset after my grandmother has passed and I love all of my family and yes some of my family members have treated me wrong and done me wrong throughout the years But I have such a great big heart, I have overlooked that. And even when it comes to these young ladies, April 2023, the young lady, well, before April 2023, I was back dating a young lady who, whose name started with a C. And in February, two months before she broke up with me in April, she lied to me and lied to my late godmother, Stephanie Prince, saying, I love Michael and I'm not going nowhere. Okay, you love me, but two months later, you, you, broke, you break up with me over stupid stuff that could be worked out. And especially over finance. And then you don't want to be saved. You have a God-fearing man who's imperfect, but he goes to work. And then aside from him go to work, he goes to church. And then he spends time with you and show you love, show your son love. And then you reject him and then you play with him and you play with his heart. And then at, towards the end, you don't want to be with him. And I've gone out my way, just like I have with the others. I have bought these young ladies jewelry, given them flowers, bought them house shoes and slippers and stuff like that and fragrance, perfume and lotions and these nice items, nice things. And then you reject me like I'm not good enough. This last time I saw this one particular person is not too far. Matter of fact, a street right there to the back. After we broke up a month and three or four weeks, we're on the same street. And I want her I wanted her to pull over so we could talk, so we could kind of resolve some things. And instead of her doing that, she just looked at me. She gave me a half a smile, wave, and then look at her phone in her car and then just takes off like she's crazy 
or like I'm crazy. Why does bad things happen to good people? I'm talking about me. So to all of you who have been going through things in your life and even now, I understand. I'm being transparent so I can let you know that I am going through, that I have went through and that I have been through. Here I am, motherless, fatherless, grandparentless, and God has taken a many of my aunts and uncles away, especially on my mama's side, along with my mom. And then on my dad's side, many uncles, they're deceased. And I have family in California, Arizona, Texas, uh, Georgia, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and some other places. Uh, here we have family in Virginia, which is the Tucker family. Shout out to the Tuckers, much love. Shout out to the Crump Johnson family in Texas, and the Robertsons in Texas. And my family in California, the Bay Area, Northern California. So pray for me, y'all. This is Michael A.C. Johnson, Jr. Please pray for me. I am kind of stressed out. I've ha I haven't had much sleep. I left the house a few nights ago or the other night. And uh, I thought I was going to be blessed come back and I was not able to come back. I was so tired. I was uh, a little bit over 30 minutes away from the current house where we currently stay at until we have to move. That's a, another long story. And I was so tired. I didn't have the strength to drive 35 minutes back to this city where I'm at, where I currently stay. I didn't have the strength at to stay at someone's home and stay on the couch to early that morning, yesterday morning. And it was hard to get up at that time because I was still tired. I was still asleep. I'm asking that God will give me a schedule. He'll set it up to where I don't have to be at work till like yeah, 11 and 12, like to, today, I got to go to work around that time. And what time is it now? Let me see. It's like 1.30 or something. Oh, it's almost 2. It's like a little after 2 o'clock in the, in the a.m. Anyway, besides that, whatever, as long as I'm able to make some good, decent money, that's, that's all. But y'all keep me in prayer. Please, please pray for me. I'm going through, never been involved in a situation like I am now. And I almost feel like Steve Harvey and Tyler Perry when they were homeless. I feel like I might have to, I'm not going to speak into the atmosphere, but the situation that I'm in now and not having so much help with my family besides one cousin, auntie cousin, I call her auntie cousin, who helps me and Queen Creek, who I appreciate so much. She's one who helps me. But I kind of almost understand how it feels to live in your car. I understand how it feels to be without good water on your body for a few days. But my, you know, yeah, and my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness all over the ground and sink of sand. I get that. But I'm being transparent. I'm praying for you all that are going through now. Those of you who have been hurt, abused, rejected, talked about, disappointed, etc. It's not 